Well, how do that chums? I am back inside of No Man's Sky, and as you can see, I'm at that base computer that I put down in the little holographic planet. Yes, and we're going to be pushing on with the expedition. If you didn't see the first two parts of this expedition, I have put them in a nice and easy playlist that you can find. I'll put a link up to the playlist up there. Go and hit that one up. So this is phase three of the expedition. So yes, we've done phase one. We've done phase two. And now on to phase three. And as you can see here, we've already got a couple of these badges popped. Discover a world with a hostility quotient over 84%. Does it give us any sort of... Hmm, OK, discover a planet with hostility rating over 84%. Interesting. It doesn't really give you many clues there. Harvest a plant. Harvest plants. OK. Grow and harvest farmed plants. All right, fine. So I guess you've got to grow your own. All right. Um, that's going to be fun, isn't it? All right, well, I've got a base computer here. I suppose I can always grow my own plants here. Well, you know what? I'm going to put down a... Oh, I haven't even got a teleporter. All right, well, I've got some salvage tech. You know what? Let's put this down. Boom. Now, I showed this in my last episode, where if you want to duplicate something, you can just grab the thing you want to duplicate, stick it inside of your refiner, like so, get another refiner, and you have to put it exactly on top of your previous refiner, like that. Once you've got it in place, just press up on your D-pad, choose another one. It should be in exactly the same spot. You just keep doing it. Uh, easy peasy. It's not so easy on PC, though. I, I think this is a console thing that's easier to line them up. But it, the same principle works. There you go. And I'll have myself a whole load of salvage data then. Right, I'll try that. I'll do that once more now that we've got a full stack. So there you go. Let's put that down. But if you do want salvage data, you just have to dig the stuff up if you want it the legit way, chums. There you go. Stick that there. And then let's just whack a load more on top of there. I'm already doing stacks of four. I mean, there's a little bit of skill involved. So there you are. It's just a lot quicker. It's just going to save a grind. I've already got three hours on this actual save at the moment, people, for this expedition. And normally, three hours, I've completed it and I'm on my second playthrough of freaking expeditions. And I want to try and get this done so I can focus a little bit on um, Star Citizen... Not Star Citizen. Space... Starfield. Starfield, that's the one. Spacefield, Starfield, whatever field it is, mate. Right, well, I'm just going to pop on up to the actual Nexus. I'm going to get some base building parts and come back down, build a little bit of a base out, and maybe put in some bays and stuff. I mean, technically, I could do it on my freighter, couldn't I, really? And unlock it all on the freighter, but, you know, I've got all the salvage parts, not the, um, the stuff that you need for the freighters, so I might as well just do it as a base. So let's head on in and let's grow my own plants, shall we, people? Let's head on in then, of course. I'm going to go grab some planter trays. I'll show you exactly where you get them from as well, peeps. But what else is there to do? So we can do that one. Record creatures with a body temperature of up to 60 degrees. Okay. Well, that's probably going to have to be on a hot planet, I'd imagine. Acquire some vortex cubes. We need to look for those. Red skies visit a red star. All right, well, we'll focus on doing this, this um, botany type one, if you want to call it that. Yeah, we'll head on over. We'll go get a load of planty stuff. Sweet. Grow and harvest plants. 18 of them. Go, go grow and some plants in your base. Okay, fair enough. That's easy, piece of lemon squeezy. Right there, the weekend mission is underway, people. I've just run the weekend mission. Heck yes, it was great fun with the usual crew. Can my jetpack make it up there? Phew, it can. Lovely and jubbly. I do like this little alien that I am. He's quite cool, isn't he? Let's run over this way then. And let's go and see this chap, Celine. No, we won't. We'll go to this one. Best computer parts, that's what we need. Right, so what do I want to buy firstly? I want a teleporter so I can get back to my base, so that'd be nice. And then we need all the planters and stuff. So, planters, planters, planters. Let's go look for them. Planters, planters, where are they? Dun 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 dun. dun. Hmm. They're somewhere in this massive great big. Oh, we need the wire as well. We'll get the wire. Sweet. Uh, we're probably going to need the fuel reactor so we can put some power into our bases. Solar panel so we can put some power in. A battery so we can store the power. Uh, I could get one of those, but I'm probably not going to bother. Okay, so next I need the hyperponic tray. 
Big Trey, I'm surprised this haven't already popped as a mission reward. In fact, it probably does when you get to the next rendezvous point or something. I'm probably wasting my monies on this. But then, you have been given a load of this stuff anyway. So, all good. Let's just grab all the plants. This one's usually quite easy to grow, because it's just resources that you can get out of the ground. Don't have to run around picking stuff. Same with that one, Fecium. And more die. Sweet, we might as well get the whole freaking collection, mightn't I? There you go. And nip nip. Sweet. Okay, people. I think I've got enough there to actually complete this mission, eh? And I can go and teleport back down to my base. Let's go do that through this teleporter. Ah, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Boom. Your base is. Meow. And that's one. Current system. Let's go. I'll see you back down there, people. Right, well, I've arrived at Gated. And so I might as well just put down a teleporter first. Might as well. Here we go. And if you haven't got the parts, you can just press triangle and triangle in place at the same time. You go into wire mode. There you go. I just spanned it about until it blinking worked. But there we are. It's got some loose wires there that I need to delete, though. There you go. Get rid of them. And so we've got a teleporter. Uh, I need to put down power for the teleporter, so I'll just put down a couple of these. And again, I haven't got the parts, so wire mode and place. Uh, boom. I'm getting a bit better at that now. Okay. I always say I'm getting better at it, and then I completely board up with it. I'm going to end up with wires everywhere now. Let's just delete those wires. Chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom. Well, there you go. Well, that's probably enough solar panels for uh, what we need. Let's put down a battery as well. There we are. Let's just join all this together. Nice. Chicka pow. All right. We've got that in. So now we want the plants. Let's go put those in over here. And again, I haven't got the materials. I'll just go into camera mode. Press triangle. And triangle in place. There we go. And yeah, there's a wire somewhere underneath there. I don't suppose it matters too much. All right. So how many did we need to build? I don't think we need many. So let's just put in another one. So let's go back out. Grab that again. There we are. Uh, let's, um, let's join those together. And then from there, onto there, chicka pow. Now, it probably hasn't got enough power at the moment, so what I'd do is I'd get a bio furnace. Where's the bio furnace? Inside of here. Biofuel reactor. And I'll put a biofuel reactor. Let's stick that over by this battery. Let's put it into the base computer there. I do. Go and put it down. Okay. I'm not very good at glitching. You know, people that do all this um, glitching for bases, they make it look so easy. All right, so we've got all that in. Let's go and fuel that up then. Over here. Chicka boom. Put in some carbon. There you are. That should run my batteries now. We've got power. Hopefully that's got enough power. Hmm, not quite enough power. All right, fine. Well, you probably have power when the sun comes out, but it hasn't got enough power right now. Let's put in another one of these. Uh, wire mode chuck that over there and uh, yeah let's uh, refuel this one then kaboom there we are now it's got enough power let's see what plants we can stick in here shall we Did I could probably do maybe them ones mm, I have no fecium. okay uh, can I do I can do a few of them, but that use up my emerald. I don't want to use up my emerald. Hmm. Okay. We could do these ones. I just need a load of magnetized ferrite. So I need to get ferrite dust and turn it into the actual ferrite -y kind that I need. So let's grab this. Put this down. Lovely jubbly. Ferrite dust. Have I got any ferrite dust? We've got 15 ferrite dust. 
Oh, I've got some magnetized ferrite. That'll go up into. I mean, um, yeah, I've got some of that ferrite. Let's put that in then. Right, there we go. That's going to make that. Sweet. Put that over there. And then, if I just get the uh, refiner, stick it on top. Do that again. Diddly dee, diddly dum, diddly 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 dee. Pick that up. Okay. Put it down. Go over. Put in some magnetized ferrite again. I should have quite a lot of it now. 160. Stick that in there. Get this. Stick it on top. I mean, there's lots of ways to get magnetized ferrite. I could have just gone and shot a load of boulders or shot the planet and got a load of ferrite. There's ways and means. I'm just doing this to save myself a little bit of time. Diddly dee. I mean, it, it does take skill to get this to work. So, you know, however you get your enjoyment, really. Bang, 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 bang. I mean, a lot of people, I think, will just use their freighters for building all this out, to be honest, because you haven't got to worry about power. You don't have to worry about all the other stuff, but there you go. I can I can only build one. Fudging heck. That sucks. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to need a load more silver, I guess, then, aren't I? All right, fine. Okay, this. Grab this. Put it down. Head on over. I should have the silver on me. Where's the silver? Silver, silver, silver. Lyricant silver. There we go. 149. That's where my problem is. Now let's get this. Put that on there. Check about. Okay, pick that up. That should give me the silver I need. Boom. Go put some more silver in. Silver, silver, where are you? Oh, for fudge sake, I've lost my silver now. There it is. 145. About. About. Check about. Check about. This badge is going to take a while as well because these plants have to grow. So we get this going, and then hopefully we'd have to come back to this one. I think people. Hopefully they're not going to take too long to grow. Right. Okay. Well, I think I've got enough blinking plants now. So let's put these into there. Bang. I can grow thirty of them. I'd have to do. And how many was it that I have to grow for this mission? 18. Okay, well, okay, fine. I'll have to go for a little bit longer on that then. Dun 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 dun. Diddly day. I put down a load of these. Just all over the shop for now. And I delete them all and I put them in a decent position. Okay. Okay, right. So on then. Ah. So I've got four, eight, twelve, sixteen. I put down one more for good measure. There we go. Let's get these wired together. That do. Now let's go and put all the plants in these ones. Then we'll see how much the grow time is. And we might have to come back to this later then, people. That's probably why there was that nip-nip farm that we saw earlier, peeps, in the previous episode. Maybe if I would have just picked those, I would have completed the mission badge. There we go. Right, what's the time on these guys? One hour, 58 minutes. Okay, coolio. Well, that's that's growing out. So next up, 
Let's, um, let's see what else we can do. Hot-blooded creature over 60 degrees. OK, fair enough. Let's have a look at the old discoveries then. We need to find a very hot planet. Now, this has got sodium on it, mordite and copper. So that's quite a hot planet, really, for a foggy planet. What's this one, though? Temperate starbulb world? No. Frost crystal world? No. Paradise world? I don't think we're going to find anything with super hot blood on any of those planets. Could be wrong. But yeah, I'm not so sure. All right, well, let's, let's see what else we've got then, people. Visit a red star system. We could try and do that. The vortex cubes. I wonder if this planet has vortex cubes. OK, right, so let's have a quick look-see. Let's go into this cave. Oh, look, there's vortex cubes right there. <laughs> OK, we would have those. Brilliant, eh? Cool. All right, well, I guess we're venturing into the cave. So this planet here, if you want to know what this planet is, then, people, because why not, is Lacey 46V46, and it's actually in this system, which is a rendezvous system. It's this planet here where you're going to find vortex cubes. Right, well, let's head on through here and let's see if we can find some more vortex cubes, shall we, people? Heck yes. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Right, so we've got two of six. I don't know whether I could just duplicate them. <laughs> I haven't tried. Shall we give it a go? Let's, let's, let's see if it works. Let's just see if that works, people. All right, let's put that there. Go over to it. Let's put in nine vortex cubes. If this works, I'll be I'll be surprised. I'll be very surprised. Okay, here we go. Surprise me, vortex cubes. Check them out, and let's put them on top. I think you have to actually find them in the wild, you know. But let's let's just see if it works. One, probably only do it twice. I'll do it three times just for luck. Come out. One, two. Yes, it's worked. There you go. We've got our vortex cubes. <laughs> Okay, let's get out of here. There's a poisonous plant. Run like the wind. <laughs> Brilliant. So we've got that one done. Okay, cool. Yeah, go back over to the expedition. We can pop that badge. Sweet. Craftable component plans. Nice. I guess. Sweet. Awesomes. And we've got our plants all growing there. Lovely jubbly. What's next? What's next, people? Discover a world with hostile qu quotient over 84%. Is there any hostile type worlds inside of this system? I think we're going to find it in the red system. When we jump to a red system, I think we've got a good chance of finding it. I don't think any of these are going to have that hostile world quotient in it, people. I could be wrong, but I've just got a feeling, you know? OK, well, let's jump to a red system then. Let's see if we can get in the old drive into here. So where's our starship? There it is, right there. And we could do with some more blinking space in it. Right, I could get rid of the shield or I could get rid of the teleporter receiver. Let's get rid of the teleporter receiver for now. So that's going to let us jump to red star systems. And we've already got everything we need for that. So that's all done. Might as well recharge the engines in there a little. Chikapow. Let's go. Let's go to a red star system. Because we can always come back here, can't we? Heck, yes, we can. And I think we're more likely to find a more hostile and hot planet inside of a red system anyway. So let's go do that. Boom. Star map. And we jump into a red system. OK. Have I got the actual mission set? Let's see if it locks me onto a red system, if I have actually got it set. So expedition. Yep. Yeah. Uh, red system, red system. Visit to red system. Let's do that then. Let's see if it selected me one. It hasn't selected me one, has it? No. Expedition route. Life form. Uh, no, expedition route. I want no filter. Let's see if it has put a red system in there. It hasn't. So let's just unlock from there. Now, where am I? I'm somewhere around here. So I'm looking for a red system near me right now. Red, red, red. That looks kind of red. OK, we go there. And we're on our way, people in the view of us. Right, well, I've arrived, located inside of this red system. We've got a bladed planet down there. There we go. Red skies completed, I guess. There we go, that's got a selenium planet, but it hasn't got any activated on there. Finned planet. Hmm. What about you? 
activated cadmium cactus flesh this could do it this could be quite warm it'd be better if it was solarium but you know let's uh, let's go there let's just see if we get get a chance supreme supreme launch thrusters upgrade portable reactor anomaly detector okay fair enough got a few of those bits that's pretty cool what else we got um okay fine let's see if we can find it on this planet it'd be nice if we can dear people uh, well that's all charged that's all good i'll see you down at the planet peeps okay so these planets they tend to have really hot weather in the day and really cold weather at night let's try and get to the day side of the planet I don't know whether this is going to affect the type of creatures that we find here. It would be better if I found a Solarium planet. And I think for this, the, the best thing to do would be to try and get the tech on board your freighter that allows you to scan every planet from space. So I'm, I'm going to have a look on my freighter in a bit to see if I can unlock that tech. Let's just fly on down. Let's see how we get on, shall we, peeps? Let's just have a look. See, Oh, this is one of those honey planets where you get loads of honey. All right, fine. Let's just land anyway. Let's have a look at the planets. Let's have a look at the creatures here. See if we can find one with a hot internal temperature. Okay. All right. Let's have a look for some creatures. Creatures, creatures, creatures. Where are you, creatures? There's a creature. Oh, he's tiny. Oh, that is freaking tiny. Smallest creature. I'm not surprised. I can hardly bloody see it. All right. Okay, let's get these guys. I mean, flyers could be possible as well. So let's have a look. Come on, internal temperature. I'm hoping we pop it on this planet. But I think it's more likely to be on a phosph phosphorus world. I could be wrong. We've scanned a bloody bush there, haven't we? Budge and hack. Scan that one. Scan this guy. I mean, yeah, we might not be able to get it. Highest record, 58 degrees C. I've got close. Okay, any more for any more? Hmm. Yeah, we might have to go to a phosphorus world. Dang it. Okay. Oh well, that's that's that was an interesting try, but no such luck. Right, let's have a look at the old galactic map here. Have I seen every planet that there is to see here? So we've got that one, Cactus Flesh, Barren, Cadmium, Cadmium, Cactus Flesh and Rocky, Bladed, Solarium, Fiery Planet. There we go, that's what we want. Planet Biodo. Okay, right, let's go there then. Got yeah. Hopefully we're gonna find the creature there. That'd be sweet as. Come on, we got a planet to go to, my little shippity ship. Heck yes, we do. I'll see you over at that planet. Okay, well, I've arrived at Kated on this pretty hell holy type planet. Let's land. Let's have a look around for a, a fiery blooded creature. Okay. Boom. And that makes it to my ship. Okay, fine. This is. Doesn't look all that hot, does it, right now? Anyway, creatures, creatures, is there any anywhere? There's one over here. There's amongst all of this somewhere. Is he bloody invisible? I can't see him. Oh, okay, it's these budgies. Let's get those in. Pow! Right, that hasn't done it. Dang it! Alright, let's have a look, see if we can find any other creatures on this planet. There's some. Scan! No. Okay. Over there. Come on, run like the wind. Still 58 is my highest found so far, people. Bum, 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 bum. I saw a red marker over here, but now I'm not seeing it. So have I gone past it somehow? Yes, look, it's just there. What the... What the... What the devil... I can't even, I can't see what I'm supposed to leave supposed to be able to see. Where'd it go? Oh, that 
Okay, there's something there. Let's just scan it. Okay, cool. Right, I guess that registers then. Hmm. There's only four creatures to be found on this planet. And I very much doubt the last one is going to have the hot blood that I need it to have. Okay, well that was a bit of a shite. However, I think there is another mission to scan creatures that are exotic. And I know this system has got a couple of bladed planets and weird planets, so at least I'm going to visit those and scan some of the exotic creatures that are here, because why the heck not? I might as well. Yeah, I think you've got to get a total of six, and I think there's two planets here. Each will have one each, so yeah, that's that's a couple done anyway. Okay, let's take on up. Let's go to one of those weird planets, like a bladed planet. I'll scan an exotic creature. We've got to get six of them in total. I've also got a quantity of getting stuff like 24 flora. I think I'm on 21 flora so far. I could have scanned some on there thinking about it, but, you know, too late. Fin planet, let's go! Let's fly down here, and let's go scan the creature on this planet. I've landicated. Let's go and find myself a weirdo. Okay, right, let's just have a look around. Any, any creature dots. You've got to wait for a couple of seconds for them to spawn in. So it's about it's about a 10 second delay. There you go. There you all are. Scan those. Boom. That's one creature found. Nice. Can I upload that. Get a load of units on nanites. Thank you. Guys. Might as well upload all. Okay. There's no pending discoveries apparently, even though I scanned all sorts. All right, well, let's scan some trees and stuff while I'm here, shall we? Even though it's hard to say what's a tree and what's not. Okay, well, they're rocks. Fine. Uh, so they're not going to count as being flora, are they? No. Nope. Well, we'll scan a couple of minerals then. Okay, fine. Uh, are you are you a plant? Heck yes, you are. Boom, obviously. <laughs> you don't know what's what on these planets. These planets are freaking weird. Okay, right, okay. Right, well, let's, uh, let's take on off then. I think there's one more of those weird planets inside of this system, people. Take on up and to the sky. Let's see if we can find one more of those planets. And uh, I've got another exotic creature to scan there. So let's have a look. Are you one of those weird planets? Fiery planet. Are you one of those? Bladed planet. Yeah, let's go there then. On my way! Okay, on my way there, I got this incoming message from a ship. And it looks like a sentinel one that's... Um, in bad way. Okay, offer assistance. There you go. Hmm, fair enough. Ship record. Okay, fine. Uh, that could happen. That that happened. <laughs> fine. Okay, well, let's head on down to the actual planet. Let's press on with the expedition. I was hoping I'd get a free Sentinel ship then. Well, would you look at that? It's almost identical to the planet we was just on, people inside of the view of us. Yes. Okay, well, let's scan these guys. I mean, they're rocks. They're not quite plants, are they? Let's have a look. At, let's have a little butchers around. Let's see if we can spot any creatures. There they are, just over this hill. Let's go scan those. Scan. Might as well scan that as well. It's going to class as a plant. Kaboom! Any other plants? Any other plants for me? Can I scan that? Mm. Too far away. You a plant? Yes, I've already got you, though. And they're rocks. All right, fine. Okay, cool. So I think I've got all of those. You know what I might do? Inside of the expedition, I might just head to the next rendezvous. Okay, so rendezvous free. Let's head over to rendezvous free, because sometimes when you get there, that's where you're going to find this stuff. Okay, so maybe I'm making it a little bit hard on myself by just not going to the rendezvous when I should. But I have found a lot not doing that so you know it's it's not an exact science is it anyway let's jump there i should be able to do it in pretty much one jump i'd imagine with this new sort of um warp engines that i've got heck yes let's just see if i can let's just put it all the way over there oops i went out went past it there there we go so yeah if it doesn't put the line all the way there go and put it there yourself right oh, well i've arrived located Okay, cool. So let's um let's bring up the old discoveries on this then. Oh, Eternal Garden! Discovered a paradise world! <laughs> I didn't even touch base on it! What the actual fudge? Okay, cool. Um brilliant. Well that that's another badge just instantly popped there, people. And that's in phase five, that one. So yeah, collect the reward for that. Why not? That was simple as, wasn't it? Interesting! All right, well, let's go back over to the old where I should be, which is phase three. Hitting up the rendezvous free, and there it is there. And we're on our way! 
Brilliant. I'll see you down at Rendezvous 3. Ah, would you look at this as well? This planet has got a lot of water. Now, I haven't scanned all the underwater creatures yet, or found underwater treasure. To find the underwater treasure, I might have to get the Nautilan and put in a scanner so I can find underwater relics. Well, I think I'm probably going to do that one towards the end. Well, here we go, chums. It's not an archive this time. It's a portal. There's also a badge for going through a portal. So, yeah, that's, that's a thing. Okay, cool. Well, we've arrived, Kated. Might as well use this portal then. I guess I can always jump back here, can't I? But then again, I didn't go to the station. So, you know what? Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a tricky one. All right, fine. Doesn't overly really matter, I guess. All right, let's head on over here. Bum, bum, bum. I mean, it does matter. I could do with putting down a base computer so I can get back here. Hello, Jason Plays. You're almost there. You've got this. Heck yes. All right, well, I need to go in the water anyway, scan a few creatures. I'll tell you what, I'll swim to the other side of the lake and try and put down a base computer or something. Is that a relic site just over there? I think it is, but it's not an underwater relic site. Okay, well, let's go into the water. Let's scan a few creatures. Now, I'll swim to the opposite side. I'll try putting down a base computer. And then we go back to the portal in a moment, people. I'd better sort out my life support, though. Use a bit of that oxygen. I've got loads of it now, so that's all good. Scan that. Oh, that's a weird underwater creature, isn't it? Okay. Any, any more? There we go. Scan you. Chikapow. Any others? Yes. Scan you. Sweet. Anything else on this planet? Nope. You know what? I'm thinking um, I might have to come back. I should have gone to all the other planets here before I went to the portal. I mean, I, I could just not use the portal. Or if I keep the portal in view from wherever I put my base, then hopefully I can come back and use that portal in a bit. But yeah, that's, that's a fun one, isn't it? Now let's swim to the opposite side of here then. Let's just see if I can put out a base when I get here. What's that logo? Knowledge stone. Okay, it's a relic. And I think someone's already got a base here, haven't they? Or, or haven't they? I don't think they have, actually. I might be able to put a, a base there. And then just at the other side of the pond is the portal. It's just up there. I can see it from the relic site, hopefully. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get out to the relic. I'm just going to, I think I've already got to get one more underwater creature. There's quite a lot of comms balls already at this relic site, but there's no base computer, so I might be able to put down a base computer. Let's hope that I can. Chikapow! Lovely, lovely. Let's put down a base computer. Let's see if it works. Yes, I can. Sweet. I claim this then. Then at least I can teleport back here. Claim base. Cool, yeah! I've got a base there. Nice, I don't really have to put down any parts to get back here, which is all good. Right, now let's head on back to my shippity ship, which is... Ship, where are you, ship? It's right by the portal, which is just over there. I can see it, actually. There it is. Go. Right. Um, let's see if I can just jump this water as far as I possibly can. Still can't do the melee strafe jump. I'll see you back at my ship, people. Okay, well, I'm out the actual portal. Let's go and hit this one up then. And let's go through the portal because I can teleport back, so it's not too bad. Trifold finger. <laughs> okay, let's put all this in then. This is where I use up all my resources. Lovely, lovely resources. I think I'm going to run out of sodium before I get round this ring. I don't remember picking up a lot of sodium. There we go. I thought I'd run out of sodium. Dang it! Let's try that again. Yes, I've just run out of sodium. Just a little bit shy of sodium. Oh god, there's, some, there's lots of sodium on this planet though. That's, that's kind of handy. We'll head this way. And that one's quite close. we we'll go there then. There was probably one right next to where a blinking was standing. Let's just go here then. There's one just down here. Have I scanned that crab? I have. We'll scan him. Pow. That's a pretty healthy amount of units. But it's not as much as I thought I'd get with those um, modules in. 
Right, well, we've got, our, we've got our sodium. That's enough to activate the portal. We can go through said portal. And hopefully, arrive at Kate at the other side and pop another badge, but on another phase. Yeah, this phase three is a bit of a tricky one, especially since it's got a time gate on growing your own blanking plants. I don't know whether picking other people's counts, it probably does. There's something to try. If you come across a base that's got plants, try it. Okay, here we go. Let's um, charge that one up then. Kapow! Done. We're going in. All right, let's um, just put in any old code, shall we, people? Activate portal. Ding, 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 ding. Bingo! Bango! Okay, well, fine. I don't care. Sweet! We're jumping in there, people, inside of the view of us. And then I'm going to be using the station, if there is a station in this system, to get back here rather promptly to that base that I just built. Okay, let's go on in then. Meow! Okay, no melee strafe jump. Keep forgetting. Okay, we have arrived to Coated. Oh, look, there's a load of comms balls here. Lovely. All right, fine. Almost there, you've got this. Okay, visit a blue... Oh, I've arrived in a blue system. Well, that was just sheer frickin' luck and joy. <laughs> Should get one for popping, um, yeah, expedition. All right, unwelcomed. So, yeah, I, I've just visited a blue star. I collected... I've gone through a portal. Sweet. Travel through a portal, yes. Nice. And I've now been to a blue system. And look, it's giving me all the Nautilus stuff. So that's going to help for finding that underwater aquatic thing later. Okay. All righty-o. Nice one. So while I'm here, I ought to get myself a deposit of whatever this stuff is. Indium, isn't it? Yeah, let's go get some Indium quickly before I leave here. Because normally you need an Indian drive to get to the blue systems. So I might as well grab myself some Indium just in case I need it. It's just like digging up copper. It's the same sort of thing. Just fly on over. I should have scanned some of those creatures while I was here as well. Because you've got to get so many of these rare creatures, haven't you? Alright, where's that blinking deposit that I selected? Let's just fly over there quickly. And I'll scan a creature when I land. There was abundance of the creatures there, though. Looks like a load of freaking um, oxygen right over where I'm landing as well. Sweet as. Is there a load of oxygen? Or was I seeing things? I was probably seeing things. Alright, well, that's... Oh, no, there all is. Look, loads of oxygen. Sweet. That was a bonus. Lovely. It's nice when things go well for thee, isn't it? I say when things go well for thee, I've already spent about four hours on this expedition. This is this is definitely a longer expedition. And they've purposely done it for two months, I think. So it ends at the end of October, this, which takes us all the way up to Halloween. Now, I was actually predicting that we'd get a large update around Halloween, not the summer update. I'm wondering where we're going to get the stations and get a load more lore for Halloween because the Void Mother, let's face it, the Void Mother, the Realm of Glass, it all feels a bit creepy. You know what, I'm just going to get as much of this out of the ground as possible because after all I can just duplicate it. If I need more of it, I can just duplicate it. So if I just get small amounts of stuff and duplicate it using that refiner technique that I showed you earlier, it just saves on the grind. And considering that this expedition is already super grindy in the way that you've got to scan every single freaking thing to count, you know, it's it's got to be done, hasn't it, you know? Scan that. I need some more plant structures. You a plant? Hard to say what's a plant on this world, isn't it? You a plant? No, nope, you're a rock as well. Lots of rocks. I found lots of rocks. Okay, let's have a look what's in this system before I leave this system. So we've got that one, Cactus Flesh, Abandoned Planet. We've got this one here, Paradise, Ancient Bones. Oh, we better go check that one because it might be above the Quantia because it actually says Paradise in the title. Let's go check that one out quickly. There's a little ringed planet in this system. Let's go. And you saw how it got here. I put in a shed load of sunsets and as the first code. There was a load of comms balls here. So other people have done exactly the same thing as me by the looks of things. Right. Now let's uh, stop. Let's spin this around. There we are. Let's go. Let's go. Eisentam Core tem Teleporter. So this is Eisentam Galaxy, people. So if you look at the galactic map, in the top corner over there, it says Eisentam, not Euclid. So it's strange that it's put us in this system. Anyway, I digress. I'll head on down there. 
Now this base sort of hints that it might have a teleporter on it. If it has, I can teleport back to my own base and back on the expedition trail. Which isn't a bad idea. Let's go and have a look, see if this planet popped the quanta for uh, or the quota for being a really paradisey. That'd be nice if it does. Okay, here we are. We've arrived. Let's just hope there's a teleporter inside of here. Boom. Now, I'd imagine to try and get myself the top badge for scanning creatures, I need to come across a dip, though. Let's have a look and see if there's any creatures in here that might pop top whack when it comes to monies. Come on, Diplos. Any Diplos for any Diplos? No, any creatures, for that matter. I'm not seeing any bloody creatures here, people. None. What the... Okay, there's one. Well, that's not going to break the bank, is it? 100,000. Okay. All right, fine. Sod it. I'm going in. I'm going in, people. Let's head on in. And yes, it's got a teleporter. Let's teleport back to my own base. Your base is. And let's get back to rendezvous free. Boom! I'm off. Righto. Back at rendezvous free. Nice. Okay. And I need my ship now. Oh, my ship's right next to me. Of course it is. Right, oh, well that's all right. Let's um let's have a quick look inside of the discoveries. And I want a really hot blinking planet. Paradise planet. That might be the one that oh no, actually I think I've already popped that badge, haven't I? Let's go into the log. One second. So yeah, okay, we've got all that. Let's go back to here. Let's just worry about the ones that I've got going on here. So discover a world with hostile qu quotient, 84%. Okay. And this one with a creature with extreme hot-blooded creature all right fine let's just take one off then let's have a look around take to the skies boom and we have lift off kapow now i don't think i'm going to find one on any of the planets that are inside of this system looking at it people because that one's a metallic planet magnetized ferrite copper and gold we can go there and scan another one of those exotic creatures though Let's spin this around. Let's find that planet. Watch your neck. Well, that one, which is a paradise planet. Le Bay. Got that one that's a fungal planet. Let's just go in between the two worlds. Let's just see what's hiding behind this planet here. And get that exotic creature. I'll see you at the next planet, people. OK, I've got an idea on how to find a hot-blooded animal. Now, I'll show you in a second. It's something that I just thought of as I was flying to this planet. I just need to scan a creature here before we move on. So is that a creature? No. It's got a red eye in the centre of it. There we go. I'll scan you and I'll be on my way. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. OK, let's put that and let's upload that then. Done. Can I upload all my discoveries now? I guess I can. Kaboom, do any of you class as blinking plants? You do. Nice, I'll scan you. Chikapal, how about you? Okay, you're the same as the other one. All right, you're all the same. Okay, cool. Well, I think I've scanned that last dot on here anyway. Let's, uh, let's take one off then. Cool. So you see down there where it says that you've got to find... So if I go into my catalogue and go into... Our discoveries, maybe... No, it is inside a catalog. Then I want to go into materials and items. And then if I go into plants, yes, I can select solarium. Okay, there we go. We've selected solarium. We take one off. And then when we go to the galactic map, it should find me a solarium world. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's take to the skies. Galactic map. Solarium world, there's one right there. Chikapatum, and let's go. Ah, this could work. And I'll see you at the Solarium planet when we get there. Oh, great. It looks like we've come across another freighter in distress, but I'm not overly bothered. Let's, um, let's try and get away from this. You know, sometimes if you spin it around and fly into the space station, it gets you out of all this sh shenanigans. There's the space station. Ah, you get... I just can't be asked to save another one. I've already saved one, so what's the point? So let's fly into the station. It's a shame that you can't just 
answer the hail and say no, sod you. And then they exit you the battle so you can fly and do whatever you want. Because at the moment, look, it takes me ages to get to where I'm trying to get to. And I've got no interest, no interest in helping that freighter. There's no point in me doing it. I really wish they would have added that in when they added in all this dreadnought stuff. Whether, you know, whether you want to partake. Because a lot of the time you just want to just jump out of the system and go to another one. You just want to explore and get on with what you've got to do, you know. Oh well, while I'm in here, I need to expand my actual inventory slots and things anyhow. So let's head on over and let's try doing some of that. So here we are, let's um, go into here. And I've got a couple of upgrades for my ship. Upgrade ship. Now I need to put this inside of the technology slots. I want it there, please. Thank like, yes. And I want the other one here, if possible, please. Brilliant. Is there any more that I can put into this? Did I get any more? Upgrade Starship. Let's have a look. Apply augmentation. I haven't got enough nanites. All right, fine. Head on over here. Kaboom. And I'm okay with it going into inventory there. And over here, I've got one for my multi-tool as well. Now, what I could have done is I could have actually duplicated all of these if I really wanted to. I don't want to ruin it too much for myself. So here we go. Let's do that then and apply and apply cool but what i can do now hmm well like actually i can do it because i've got my refinery my jet my backpack here if i get some of this salvage data and just put half in there i don't know how many nanites i'm going to get let's have a look let's have a look just char charge it up let's see 225 that's that's hardly any is it it's not worth doing to be honest i'd rather have the salvage data Okay, fine. All right, uh, what we got there? We got pump. Oh, that's for the the other Norton, isn't it? Sentinel exocraft fragment. What the? What is that? Okay, exosuit fragment. Okay. Oh, that might that might be good actually. Let's go stick that in. Pow. There we go. Right. Okay, so we've done that then. Um, yeah, fun times. Now we need to go to the Solarium planet. Let's see if it lets me people in the view of us. Let's go, let's go! And away we go. Solarium planet, where are the... You a Solarium planet? Your cactus flush, okay. And the other ones are gonna be over there somewhere. I don't wanna to go too far forwards or else I might get pulled into that other freighter battle. Cactus flesh again. What about you over there? Solarium, corrupted planet, that'll do. Ooh, this one might tick off all the boxes for being a super dangerous planet because it's got activated copper there, so it means it's going to have nasty ass storms on it. So let's fly on down and let's butt home, people in the view of us. Come on, hopefully it pops that quota. That'd be freaking great if it does. I don't think it's. I'm not going to know until I jump out of the ship, but it's got a chance. Got every chance of doing it, doesn't it? Okay. Whoa, Nelly. What is this? It's like a Solarium infested planet. Oh, it is. Okay. Interesting. And it's, yeah, it's going to have worms here. It's going to have all sorts. Hazardous, hazardous climate. Yep. Okay. We better start scanning some creatures. Creatures, creatures, creatures. This, I, I really don't like nested planets for creature spotting, though. Because there's so much going on in these planets, sometimes it can be really hard to spot the creatures. If if I can't get it on this planet, then the other planet that I'm thinking of is maybe a lava world. The only thing is, it's very hard to find the lava worlds from the galactic map. You know, selecting basalt or whatever just doesn't seem to cut the mustard. Yeah, let's go this way. And if this one doesn't do it with Solarium, that's, that's going to be a bit of a git. Ooh, okay, that's a cool creature. Hmm, still nothing, eh? Alright, I need to get rid of that and my log now. So let's get rid of that. Abandoned search. Expedition. I've got this one selected. It's, it's a toughie, isn't it? It's a freaking tough one. Scan that plant. I need to get some plants scanned. Let's scan this plant as well. Sod it. I should be very close to pop... Yes, there we go. We've popped pop that badge anyway. So let's uh, get that one popped out then. Sweet. 
uh, which is in phase five. Chicka pow, I'm going to have some shorter videos inside of this, I think, people. Yeah, some of these missions that they've put in phase three are harder than the ones that we're finding in phase five. Hmm. I was okay. Um, yeah, there's another creature over there amongst all the bushes. Let's go see if we can find him then. Ah, there he is. I don't know how I got dirt all of a sudden. There you go. Are you going to have an internal body temperature? Wow, he was worth quite a fair bit in units. All right, there's some flying ones over there. I don't think they're going to give me what I need either. I think I need to go in the water still and get some more underwater critters, don't I? So we'll do that too while we're on here. Who knows, they might have the right internal temperature. I mean, this is an extremely hot planet. You'd, you'd think it'd blank and work, wouldn't you? Okay, um, okay, there we are. Scan that one. Okay. Is there water on this planet? I'm sure I saw water on this planet that was, was flying into it. I could be wrong. Let's go to discoveries for a second. Let's have a quick look see are the creatures discovered. Ground underground. Okay. All right. So there's only one more creature to be found on this planet. And then the, the other one's underground. And I never bother looking for underground creatures because that's like mission impossible. It's insanely difficult to find the underground critters. All right. Well, we haven't found it there, which I would have thought this planet would have would have been one of these planets that would have triggered this one. Discover a world with hostility quota. Is it going to say anything else inside of the log that might give us an idea? Discover a world with hostility quota of 84%. Planetary planet is 67. What the actual... Huh? I, well, throw, throw me a freaking bone. Give me an idea of what I'm looking for, eh? Okay, well, fine. Let's uh, fly on up then. And let's have a look, see if we can spot something that kind of jumps out. But you know what? I'm going to go on my freighter and look to see if I can get that technology installed on my freighter that scans every planet in the system. Because that might help me massively. And that could have helped me right at the start of all of this. Yeah, that could, that could be an idea. Okay, so I'm at the consoles. Here we go. Base and parts and upgrades. And the part that I need isn't on that page. It's on here, but I need salvage frigate modules. And to get it unlocked, I'm going to need a blinking lot of them. So, yeah, which one is it? The room scanner, that one. Actually, I only need, only need one. I need one salvage frigate module to get that. But they're hard to come by, salvage frigate modules. And, yeah, it's going to call in sentinel ships and all sorts of stuff if I do it the way that I know how to do it. All right, so I guess it's back to the old drawing board on this one, people. Well, you know what? I'm going to try and find these two. And if I don't manage to do it in the next like hour or so, we'll go back and pick those bloody plants. All right, I'll be back with you when I find a planet. OK, chums, I'm going to try an aggressive sentinel planet and see if that counts. So let's fly on down there and I'll let you know. I mean, if this works, I'll be blinking surprised. You know, I forgot. I think I've been on an extreme sentinel planet. I remember running past some of those um, glowing orbs. I think it was a distant planet I was on earlier. So I'd be surprised if this does it. Holy fudge! I just got the hot-blooded one. On this planet that I thought was, you know, corrupted sentinel world planet, I got one. So that's, um, that was a turn up for the books. I didn't expect that. Okay, cool. All right, well, fine. Um, I'm trying to scan this creature at the moment, but I... Whatever reason, I can't. Okay, um, we're getting attacked by sentinels. All right, well, that didn't do it anyway, so let's uh, pop that one anyhow. So we've got that. If you want the coordinates for this planet, there you go, people. There they are in the bottom left-hand corner right now. If you're using the portal, you can always jump here, can't you? So there we go. You can get back here, and you can get yourself that hot-blooded creature. Um, so if I go into my discoveries... It was, uh, there was only two that I've scanned, so it's either going to be this one, Salivia PH, or it could be this one, um, which is that one there. So it's one of them, it's one of them that's, um, yeah, hot-blooded or whatever. So there we go, people. I, I got him. It's one of those two. Sweet. Awesome. Nice one. And that was just by complete sheer fluke. It wasn't even a hot planet. 
For fudge sake. Okay, right, well, I have no idea how to get this one done. That's an interesting one, that one, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, so it's not Sentinel Welds that trigger it. I'm, I'm not too sure what the quota is for that one, then. Maybe a blue system would have been better, the high idiom system that I was in earlier. Um, but who knows? Oh, for fudge sake. Yes, we've got, we've got those coming at me now. Let's get up into space. Great, pulse engines are disabled. I'm in the slowest ship ever. I would have done better to escape the Sentinels on foot, wouldn't I? Right, let's fly back down then. Okay, I'm going to escape these Sentinels. Actually, that's pointless getting out of the ship on an extreme Sentinel. Well, chums, I've decided to just go back to Rendezvous 3. I managed to call in the Nexus. I shot down the pirate ship, jumped, uh, jumped back to the Nexus, and now I'm here. So, right, I'm going to... Hmm, I'm really not 100% sure. What I might do is just open up my um, Expedition, and what I might do is just push on towards Rendezvous 4 and see if it's in that system. You know, let's, let's try that. Let's do, try to give that a go, because it's very hard to know what the quota is for that unwanted badge. So let's just do that. Let's just try that then, people. Meow. Shkum. Uh, where are you, current mission? Where is it? Hmm, okay. Let's just do that again. I can't see the actual marker, so I'll just jump there. Then we'll do another set of jumps in a second, people. I'll, I'll, I'll reconvene when we get to Expedition 4, Row Rendezvous 4. Okay, so I'm in Rendezvous for our system. Sweet. And let's just head towards this planet right here. Go on! I will have arrived at Rendezvous 4. And I'm not seeing much here at the moment. Which way have I got to go? Oh, my days. All the way over there. All right, well, I'm going to highlight that comms ball. I'm going to fly there. Go! Cool. Let's do that. That's a bit freaking mental. Take on off. Where's that comms ball gone? Which one did I select? That one. Let's go there. It's in this general vicinity. So I'm hoping that that comms ball might be the one in question. It's a crashed freighter. And there's a load of comms balls here. All right, well, let's go land there. So this is going to pop rendezvous four. And I was hoping to find that planet, that unknown planet. I have no idea what's going to trigger that unknown one. There we go. Sweet. And we've arrived, Kated. Break out the cheese. All right. Well, um, this is an oddity. Let's just jump over here then. Let's go hit this up and let's see if that pops the... Uh, I, I think it's already done, actually. I don't think I need to read this. That's all fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, we've got the actual badge for that, then. Rendezvous 4. No, okay. It says my inventory is full. Okay, well, let's have a quick look at my inventory. Let's see what we can do about that. Okay, we've got quite a lot of stuff in here we don't overly need. I could consume that and consume that. Might as well eat that as well. Fudge it. I would eat all of these. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, hopefully that's given me enough inventory space. Can I install this in there? I guess I can. Okay, is there anything else I can take advantage of? No, I haven't got that yet. Okay, cool. Um, we could let off the fireworks, but I wouldn't do that at the end. The end of this expedition. Okay, so let's just pop that badge then into here. Pop that badge. Ha ha ha! Nice. And we've got some more storage augmentation. Awesome. Right, you know what? I'm going to fly back to uh, my um, my farm. I'll pick up some... I'm going to see if those plants are ready, people. Let's go do that. Let's go see how far away they are from being ready. Hold on. I just popped another badge. I didn't even realise that I could pop that badge. Where was... What's that for? Oh, okay. We've earned some nanites. Brilliant. So we've now just popped that badge. Well, that was that was simple enough. Cool. Alright, nice one. Well, it's phase three that's causing me the headache. 
that's really causing me a headache that one okay well let's um let's just head on back then to uh yeah let's let's do that i'm gonna hit the space station while i'm here i have no idea what planet actually fills the quota for the unknown okay chums i am now warping back i used my augmentation for my ship and my multi-tool and also my exosuit so i've done all of that heading back to my farm let's go see if those plants are ready okay our fingers crossed yeah but yeah I, I have no idea what pops up unknown one if you do know please let me know i'll put it yeah you know, put it inside the uh, comments let us know where you found the planet that'd be extremely helpful thank you Okay, jumps. when it appear, I've got another 48 minutes on the counter for these guys. So you know what? I could just push on with the expedition and try doing phase four. I mean, I can't do that one just yet or that one. So let's, um, let's just move on on over on to number four then. So enter a black hole and also find 10 aquatic creatures and acquire aquatic. Um, yeah, okay, we can try and do that. Right, so black hole time. Let's go do this then. Let's take to the skies. Boom. I guess put on up. You know what? I could try and get a salvage frigate module and then just do some jumps inside of my freighter. Let's have a look, see if we can find some freighters just lingering around. Any freighters, any freighters anywhere. When you want freighters, you can't find them. And when you don't want them, they get in your poxy way, don't they? And, uh, oh, actually, there's a freighter right behind me. One's just spawned in, just here. Okay, well, let's go see if we can find some salvage frigate modules amongst these. It's probably not the best idea that I've ever had. Okay, let's have a look, see. Let's have a look what we've got on all of these. Okay, so we've got that one there. I, I'm not bothered about the freaking hailing message. Sod off. I want to know what's inside of these containers. Oh, for fudge's sake. I haven't got enough blinking units to employ every single one of them. Okay, all right, fine. Inspect. There you are. Go away. Right, now leave me alone. Not for fudge's sake. I want to know what's inside of these containers. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Oxy game. Okay, here we are. Platinum. Platinum. Py pyrated grease. Metal cogs. Gold. Experimental power. Ah, damn it! They're hailing me again. Oh, that is just really tedious, isn't it? Okay, let's try these ones. No, fudge off. Okay, that's not going to work anymore. That's fun, isn't it? Hold on, let's um, let's go into the other ship mode for a second, and let's see if we have any more luck in scanning over these now. Ah, reinforced. Is it going to come up and tell me what's inside of these pods? Gold, chromatic metal, uranium. Yeah, salvage frigate modules have been lowered in quantity. You used to be able to get them quite easily doing this. Now you're better to run a derelict freighter. So, yeah, it's a bit of a shite, to be honest. Comet droplets. They're rare as rocking horse turd now, people in the view of us. So there's a good chance. But the, yeah, you have to swap modes. You have to shot, swap modes to be able to see these now. Great fun. Okay. Underpine. Yep. Iron capacitor. A magnetized ferrite. I mean, you can get a lot of commodities doing this. But yeah, it's. I don't want to lower my reputation too much. I don't want to tangle with sentinels if I can help it. Cargo, bromide, salt, platinum. No, I don't think we're going to find one, people. We're not going to find one inside of here, which is a bit of a shame. All right, fine. Okay, so what are we doing then? Back into here, chicka boom. And I guess we may as well just press on and do the other expedition rewards. So let's enter a black hole then. Power. Oh, oh, there's an easier way to find a black hole. So if I go into the, the actual Nexus, we go and speak to Polo. I'll see you at Polo inside of the Nexus, people. We'll see if we can get a black hole. Oh, gosh. Well, here we go. There's good old Polo. Hello there, Polo. Sweet. 
And let's go over here and let's ask about the black hole coordinates. Cool. Hopefully it's given me the black hole coordinates. Sometimes this doesn't work. It's, it's, it's a little bit broken. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to go and go to an Atlas station first and then it will find you a black hole and vice versa. It's been broken for freaking years and it's been reported probably enough times. I know I've reported it at least once. Let's head on out then. And let's go see if this works. They have fixed it in the past and then it got rebroke. So who freaking knows? They probably don't realise that it's rebroke, but it's rebroke. Right, on, let's see if it gives me a black hole. Yes, it has, it's worked. Brilliant. Excellent, eh? Where is it then? Cool, over there. All right, let's, um, let's do that then. Okay, yeah, yeah I, I, I get the point. Yep. Meow. And there we go. We jump in there. On our way. Here we are inside of this system. Sweet already been discovered by somebody else but we're heading into the black hole not bothered about the planets that are here i have no idea what triggers that unknown planet one so let's just go in through the black hole and let's see what happens on the other side people look girls okay people i've just encountered a freaking dreadnought okay let's try and take it out with my shite ship this should be fun. This is going to take real freaking skill, people. So I'm going to fly in. I'm going to go to the engines. Let's just shoot the shite out of the engines. Let's get as close as possible. Boom. Boom. I don't expect that I'm going to be able to do this in this really shite ship. But we, we give it a go. Has that rendered the engines done? Nope. There's, I think there's one left. Take that, engine. I don't know whether that's blown up or not. I didn't see the message pop up, so hard to say. Let's just pretend that I've done those then. Okay, fly on round. Go down into the old trench. Now, if this was my fully tooled up ship, this would be freaking Swiss cheese. Right, there should be a little ion pylon that comes out of there. In its own bloody time. Alright, okay, maybe not then. Alright, let's try the next one then. Boom. There you go, there's a pylon that comes out of that one. Come on! Chikapow! Chikaboom! There you go, we've got done that one. Let's fly on out then. So that's that cavity done. Flying around. Was that the one I just did? Yes, I think it is. Flying over this side of the ship. Go down into this one. Oh, that was skillful. And take that out. Come on. Pylon. There you go. Boom. Keep shooting that little node. Done. Take that out. Boom. Is that all of them? I think it is. So that's that done. Let's take out these things. Take that, you, you scutter. Pow! Okay, I'm just shooting the hole now. There we go, I've done it. Freaking done it in the rubbish shit, people. Thank you! Yes. Gotcha! Awesome. Well, we did that. That's cool. That's a really cool, funky planet there. Hold on. Okay, we, we've done it. Inventory is full, though. Okay, so we went through a black hole. We encountered our dreadnought, even though the dreadnought isn't part of this mission brief. We'd head into the old station, I think, people, and see if we can do something about our inventory and get that sorted out. Let's fly on in. Let's do that then. It could be that we do all the other phases inside of this other than phase three okay chums have just sold some stuff to make room for this heck yeah salvage frigate module oh freaking awesome well that's going to make things a hundred times simpler so yeah let's go on over to my freighter can i teleport directly to my freighter hold on that was a terrifying underwater sample that might class as an underwater treasure hmm it didn't okay darn it okay well, that's a shame 
Right, well, let's teleport over to my freighter then. Boom. Sweet. I'll see you at my freighter. Okay, well, we've arrived located at my freighter. Chicka boom. Let's run round to the actual console in question. This one here looks like a squashed armadillo. Boom. And then we want to go into base parts and upgrades. I've got 15 salvaged frigate datas. How many do these cost? They cost quite a lot. So you know what? Let's um, let's go inside my construction area. Let's put down my portable uh, refiner. I think you know what's coming next, people, don't you? Portable tech. Portable tech. There we go. Put that there. Let's go over to this. Let's get those salvaged frigate datas. Where are they? Where are they? The salvaged frigate module into there. I'm going to get another one of these. Stick it directly on top of there. Let's go into camera mode to do this, people. Kapow. Ah, it swings you around. Right, let's step back a bit. Kapow. Ah, it does it every time inside the freighter. So it's a bit trickier to do inside a freighter than on planet because it's spinning me around. Let's just not go into camera mode. Let's see if that does the trick. Yeah, that's better. Don't use camera mode. Oh, we can put down loads of these now. We've got loads of metal plating. I don't know how I got so many metal plating, but this is probably a bit of a bonus, isn't it? We could probably do the whole tech tree. You know what? I'm pretty inclined to at this stage. Because that planet's ticking me off! Yes, that, that one I can't find. The unknown one. Bit of a pain. There we go. Let's let's just do that then. That should give me enough. Probably going to run out of freaking storage space with all these refiners. <laughs> Then again, hopefully they're going to go to my freighter. There we go, we've got loads now. Okay, right. Wrong map, wrong console. Get back. Nope, 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 nope. Come out of there. How many times have I got to press leave? Oh, you get. Okay, right, round here then. We are. I need to get a cup of tea. We'll go do that in a moment. Okay, well, we've got additional storage, so we can put in a load of that. There we go. We'll put in, we'll put in some more of that. Ah, we could do with having it up here, though. Bulkhead. There we go. Okay. Now let's go over here, then. Chikapow. Base parts and upgrades. We've got 250 of it, so there we go. We'll get that. Nice. Get that. Right, it's going to take me a little while to unlock all of this stuff. It's a lot of clicking. Sweet. So we've got all that. Let's get that out as well. Might as well do the whole tree. Sweet. Okay. And then over to this side. And the one I want is that scanner room. That's the one I really want. We get everything else anyway. Might as well. I wish there was just a buy all button on these pages because they're not the most intuitive. You know, it'd be nice to have something just in the top corner or something. Just buy all. You know, like how you can upload all your discoveries. Yeah, especially on the base parts page. You know, that's freaking mental. But I really wish they would unlock these. You know, like when you're doing your faction sort of levels and you're, you're surviving on worlds for ages and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I wish I would tie these into those as well. So you've got two ways of getting everything. All right, okay, well, let's head on over here then. And let's go and install that scanner. In fact, can I just install it right here? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Scanner room. So I might have to delete the room first. So let's, un let's delete that for a second. And then let's just stick that in. Boom, like so. And now when I hit this up, it should scan every planet inside of the system. And if there is one of those planets inside of this system, hopefully I'm going to detecticate it. So what I need to do now is on my actual freighter is get all the other hyperdrives installed. So what's this one? 
So that one, hyperdrive core. That one will let you jump to red bodies. I haven't got enough cadmium for that. Interstellar. You need to have all of them installed too, anyway. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, right, well, let's, um... Let's just try anyway. Let's just jump. Um, have I, I charged up the actual freighter in there? No. Pal. Right, let's just try it. Let's just jump to another system. Let's just jump to any old system and see how we get on, people. So I'll just jump to this one here. It's a neighbouring one. I don't do for now. And we'll just try using that scanner. I mean, technically... Oh, no, I don't even think I can call my freighter in to use that bit of tech. So maybe that was a bit overkill. Oh, well. Well, we can but try. Right, well, I've arrived. Let's go and use this little scanner doohickey over here and see if it brings up anything. Chikaboom! Okay, well, that's got contoured planet. I could go scan the creature on there. Flourishing planet. And we've got a humid planet. Okay. Sweet. Well, I'll go and get one of those exotic creatures on this planet anyway, people. Let's go do that. Okay. I've only got a couple to do. You can see there, down in the bottom, just below me, it did say I had four of six actually found, so I only need to find this one and one more. So let's go do that then. Sweet. And we've still got underwater creatures to find and an underwater treasure that we've got to find. And I don't know what underwater treasure it means. If it's the one that I think it means, and you've got to do all the blinking lore, I'm not looking forward to that. That can take a freaking week on its own. Okay, right, so here we go. Let's try and find a creature then. Because technically, I've already got an underwater treasure that I just got gifted from a previous mission. So, yeah, I, I was half expecting that to have popped. Let's head over this way then. There's a creature. Scanned. Catalogued. Done. And into discoveries. Chikapow. Yep, lovely jubbly. We've got him. We've only got to get one more of them. Fine and dandy. Fine and dandy. Fuck yours. Right, I could try and install that freighter tech. Um, but to get those freight that freighter tech in, I'm going to need quite a lot of stuff to do that. Looking at it, I was like, oh, that's painful, that's painful, that's painful. But what's more painful, doing that or just jumping around aimlessly trying to find this poxy unknown planet? That's a good question, isn't it? Anyway... You've got more chance of finding these sort of weird creatures in red or blue systems, or the green systems. I'm just going to go to this red system quickly and see if we can find another one of those exotic planets. Yeah, here's one, but it's an, ex an aggressive sentinel planet, so I want to be as quick as I can here, people. I don't want to get chased by sentinels. There is another sort of nice-looking, small, paradise planet here, or flourishing planet. A star bramble planet, basically. And it looks like it's got water. Um, so I might go and touch base on there and see if we can do the underwater missions there. We'll see how far we can get in trying anyway, people. And hopefully the 40 minutes would then be up for us to go and grab all my plants. OK, let's just have a little butchers about. Come on, creature, hurry up and spawn in because I want to get you scanned and I want to be off of here pronto. There we go, we've got him. And there we go, we've got, we've got the badge. Jump in my ship, get in the ship, get off of here as quickly as possible. Haha! -ha. And we're away. Okay, cool. Let's go into the Elder Expedition then, and let's pop that one. Boom! Assorted glitches. Great. That's just gone and filled up my inventory, hasn't it? Yeah. Great. Brilliant. Brilliant. Lovely. That's just what we bloody wanted. It's not. It really isn't. Okay, so that's not the planet I saw earlier. Is that the planet I saw earlier? Kind of looks like it. Has it got water, though? That's the question. I don't know whether it has. It kind of looks like it might. That one has. Scarlet planet. I wonder if that will count, being a magma planet. I wonder if that will count. I mean, it's got water on it anyway. I think we'd go to that one. It's got more chance of being one of those really hazardous planets, hasn't it? The magma world. Let's go and have a look at that magma planet then. Rotting flesh or whatever that is. There we go. Scarlet planet. Let's go there and let's see if that one counts. And I mean, it's got water, so hopefully we can scan a few underwater creatures. I mean, to be honest, people, I don't know of any other sort of 
thing more hazardous on the planet than lava. So let's just hope this does the trick. Probably won't. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well that, that sucks, doesn't it? So what was my previous planet that I managed to do that's got the most quota? Let's have a look. Hostility quantum. So it was this one. So lungs burning night wind. Carbon monoxide, Kallium. Let's have a look at what this planet was exactly. So it was a cactus flesh world. A cactus flesh planet done it. That's my highest so far, cactus flesh planet. So it might be worth me looking for another cactus flesh planet. But before I do that, let's just jump into the waters here. Let's have a quick look for some underwater fauna. Because over on the expedition, I think I'm really close to actually polishing this one off now. So where was it? So here 10 aquatic creatures i, I I'm, I'm sure I'm, okay i've scanned seven let's uh, let's see if we can get this up kapow we've got that one kaboom we've got that one i don't know what's going on with that marker that's just whizzing around all over the place okay let's uh let's carry on swimming swim 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 okay it's somewhere down here oh look at that well, that's, a, that's quite a gnarly fish, isn't it? There we go, we're done. So we've got that done. Let's go into there then. Let's go pop the badge for that. Supreme side. Okay, lovely. pre packaged Sweet. Right, so we've got the Nautilum Bay. And for that, I need salt and crystal sulfide and metal platings. Okay. All right, crystal sulfide. I know the icon for that. It's like a, a blue flat sort of weird looking icon. And when you're, when you're not trying to find it, they're all over the place because you get blasted by them. You, you know the things that I'm on about. They look like giant stone weird things. Okay, let's just carry on swimming. Now we could try and find the salt wire under here as well. Let's have a look, see if we can find something with salt in it. Come on, salt, where are you, salt? Okay, let's swim down. Let's just get some oxygen. Right, you know what? I'll let you know when I find salt and I'll let you know when I find crystal sulfide. Okay, so I found something with salt in it. So let's go and shoot that. Bum, bum, bum. I want some salt. Lovely, lovely salt. Wow. How many salt did that give me? It's already given me like 15. I'm going to have to shoot like about... I'm going to shoot a load of these. At least they're easy to find these things. I mean, look at them. We can, you can't miss them. Okay. Swim. I might have to go up to the Nexus and get the blueprints for the scanner. For the actual Nautilus after I've built it. But this is quite a cool planet to do it on, actually, isn't it? It's, it's not a bad one, to be honest. The water doesn't seem to have much toxicity going on. Ah, jellyfish! Take that, you evil scutters of evilness! I actually like jellyfish in real life, people, but inside this game, these jellyfish do oodles and oodles of damage. Probably one of the most dangerous enemies inside of this game. Right, let's go ahead and get that, then. Ah! See what I mean? He freaking bit me! Yeah, there we go. Check about them. I think we've probably got enough salt now, haven't we? Let's have a look at salt levels. Salty, salty, salty levels. 65. Oh, no. There's some jellyfish. So, ah, die. Freaking have it. Okay, right. We better get some more um, oxygen. Let's go get some oxygen, people. Meow. Okay, so now you know what gives me salt. I'll just get the salt and I'll reconvene in a moment. Okay, chums, I've spotted the icon for crystal sulfide. It's over there. Let's swim, let's go and get that crystal sulfide. Now the only thing is, is these usually give you three crystal sulfides and I need four of the dang thing. So I'm gonna have to go and find another one of these. Now these get quite angry. It helps if you've got your sound up. Obviously I haven't got my sound up and I'm not wearing my headset. So I don't know when it's going to kablooey. Let's get out of here. Swim like the wind. There we go. Oh look, there's another one just there. Luck be had it. The only thing is I need more oxygen. I'm gonna run out of oxygen. And my life support is critically low as well, people. So let's go and grab this quickly. Go on, I said quickly. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Let's um, put in some life support there. Now, where was that other crystal sulfide? 
I was right on top of it. I could see it a second ago. I've lost sight of the dang thing. Oh, there we go. We're right on it. There we are. Let's grab, let's grab this. We'll have that. I'm going to grab one more just for good luck. Boom. Done. Now we need some metal plating, don't we? How many metal platings did we need? I think we needed four, if memory serves me correctly, people. And we can't even build frickin' one. Okay, um, that's a problem. All right, well, let's... um. I think I might swim back towards my ship and we'll just shoot some rocks on the actual surface of this planet, people. But like I said, I might have to go and get some blueprints up from the Nexus. So we might have to go do that. Okay, well, luck be had it, people. I'm heading towards my ship and I can already see that there's a shed load of rocks just on this tiny little island. So hopefully I can bag a load of freaking ferrite dust and make myself some metal platings. Even if I can only make like one metal plate, I should be able to duplicate said metal plate. Um, zap. Please. Oh, for fudge sake, there's a one island in the middle of freaking nowhere and it's got a poxy sentinel on it. How am I going to shake that sentinel and freaking mine these? Oh, it's a, oh what a freaking git of a game this can be sometimes all right well we're gonna do it anyway i'm probably gonna make that sentinel pretty damn angry i'm gonna have to wait for him to calm down before i can shoot the next one all right let's just hope that i got enough ferrite dust to make one metal plate in yes okay cool right so now if i put down my portable refiner chicka pow i mean this is in black and white mode now god this game hates me i'm sure it does Okay, let's get this one then. Put that in there. And let's um let's go for this. Boom. And it's hard to tell what colour that is, but uh yeah, you know, this is this is the joy of cheating, isn't it? Pow. Ah It's not letting me. It's a lot easier when you can see green state and red state, trust me. And let's do that again. And again. Okay, I guess that's it then. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, might have to do that once more though. Where's my metal plate? Because I think I've only got four of them. Oh, I've got 18. All right, fine. All right, fine, we'll have that. Okay, um, lovely. Hmm, we should be able to put down our Nautilum Bay. Let's not do it that side though, let's do it here. Nautilum Bay! Heck yes we can, must be constructed underwater. There then. Sweet! Okay, let's see what scanners are in there right now. Let's see if we can scan for an underwater relic site. I think I might have to go back up to the Nexus though. So we'll see. Okay, we've got a scanner. Uh, great, we need crystallized sulfide for that too. Ho I've got one on my person, so I can duplicate that. We need some more ferrite dust, and we need to be able to make a solar mirror. Okay, all right, we can do this, we can do this. Can we do it without leaving this tiny little speck of land? That would be a freaking mission and a half, wouldn't it, people? Let's see if we can. Let's grab this then. All right, dust. Oh, sod off, Sentinel. Get back. Okay, right. Let's get this. Put that there. Open up this. Boom. And we're going to be putting in... Well, we're going to have to do this with ferrite dust. I've never had to duplicate ferrite dust before. This is embarrassing, but you can see the problem I've got with that poxy sentinel that's living on an island with me right now. You know, there's that thing. What would you like to take on a desert island with you? Not a freaking sentinel! You know? Who in their right mind would want a sentinel with them on a freaking island? Not me. Heck no. Okay, right. Let's craft a solar mirror. Cool. We can chrome one of that. We can we can do one of them. 
Sweet. We've got some ferrite dust now. I don't know whether I've got enough ferrite dust. And the crystal sulfide. Right, let's let's get that done as well inside of my little duplication technique. Duplication technique. Crystal sulfide, where are you? There you are. Boom. This little technique comes in handy, it really does. Especially for this expedition. This is probably the longest expedition I've ever done. And I, I'm i going to be doing a review of this expedition. And I, I, I can't say that I'm... Am I enjoying it? It's been a challenge. But it's been challenging in a different way, for sure. It really has. Okay, there we go. We've got our sulfide. We've got everything else we need. Let's go and see if I can get that scanner installed inside of my little guy. Can we do this? Kaboom, kaboom, chicka pow pow. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm just going to create a save because I don't know when it last saved. I know it auto saves people, but just to be sure, let's just do this. I guess. Okay, let's set. Let's select the mission in question that I want to be doing, which is this one here: acquire aquatic treasure. Let's go try and do that then. Where's my blinking? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, I lost it for a second, people. Yeah, it's a black and white world. It's probably not the best world to do this on, is it? But the ocean's nice and deep. All right, here we are. Let's hit up this guy. And let's just hope that the um, the relic site it finds is in close proximity. Unsubmerged relic site. There we go. No nearby building poxy found. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, then. All right. Well, I guess that's that then. I mean, I can fly somewhere else on here and call in the Nautilan. The only thing is, if I don't delete that Nautilan bay, I'm not going to have the freaking materials I need to put this Nautilan down on another planet. This planet might just be a shite planet for this sort of thing. So you know what? Let's let's just let's just delete it then. Hopefully, I've got all the materials back. Huh? There you go. Crystallized sulfide. Yes, I got exactly what I put in. Yeah. Okay. Right, well, I guess we've got to go to a different planet with water. That's not a bad thing, to be honest, people. Okay, cool. Right, let's head on up. I mean, I could head back to the planet where my plants are. That's got water on, and we'll see if my plants are ready now. I don't think 40 minutes has passed, but, you know, time flies when you're having fun. You know what, people? Change of plans. I'm going to Rendezvous 5. Yeah, hopefully there's water in that system. And we might come across this large, tall herbivore that we've got to catalogue as well in Phase 5. Because I'm thinking... You know, OK, it's not, it's not showing me the mission anywhere. I can't see it on the galactic map at the moment. Nope, so we're just going to jump there then. It's not showing me yet right now. And I'll reconvene when we get to Rendezvous 5. Well, I've arrived at Kato to Rendezvous 5. Let's head on over to this lovely planet over here, people. I was kind of half hoping that it would tell me that there was a planet in the system that had that weird sort of criteria. I think what I need to do, though, is visit a couple of Cactus Flesh Worlds and see if that pops the badge, which I'll be doing fairly soon. But let's just head on over to this world first. Well, here we go, people. I've arrived at Rendezvous 5, and it looks like it's another colossal act. Guy, I guess. Awesomes. I wish the Colossal Archives did more. I mean, they look just like the new space station, the space station bees that we saw in the game files. I think there's going to be a lot more to these, you know, in the future. I guess. Love from China. I guess. Welcome to the Firefly. Nice. Nice. Coolio. I do like reading some of these comms balls. The religious ones and pol political ones, not so much. But everything else, I guess. Okay, there we go. We've got that. That's pretty darn sweet. Let's go over to the expedition then. Pop that. Boom. Infantry is full. Okay. The annoying thing is, it's going to give me infantry slots times three, and I bet I only need three to fucking pop. Okay, right. So I can sell that since that sample, though. Let's go sell a few things. There's quite a lot in there that I don't really need, to be honest. Uh, okay, so I can sell. Yeah, and get rid of you. Probably don't need that. 
Um, I probably don't need the planetary charts, to be honest. Probably don't need that little mini clump of seven salvaged thingies. I'm going to need this everything else, though, that I've got sitting there right now, people. The lubricant, probably not. Might regret that later. Let's find out later, then. Okay. Right, well, we've, we've sold a load of stuff. Let's see if we can pop that badge, then. Expedition. pop de pop Lovely. Get that in there. Now, I would imagine... Because we're on this last tab of this expedition. Cool. The one that we need in here is this one. Hooves of Thunder. Document a herbivore at least 7.0 meters high. Now, this is on the nighttime side of the planet at the moment. And what's the time of day? It's one in the morning. So it's going to take a little while for that clock to tick round to daytime. Let's just have a look and see what nighttime creatures we can find. I mean, he's not seven foot tall. And pretty big, though, with that freaking sail back on his back. We need one of those giant striders or something. Let's have a look around. Let's see if we can spot anything on here. I'd imagine it's going to be on this planet, if any. Or else, you know, it's, it's quite a difficult thing to find otherwise. Boy, that's not going to do it. He's a little freaking turtle, but, you know. Button over here. Oh, look at this thing. I mean, he's quite tall and quite nasty. But he's not going to be seven meters. We need something like a giant crab creature or um, a diplo. A diplo might do it. Nope. Just nope. You're a nope creature. I guess you are. Die. Have that in the face, you freaking freaky get bag. Okay, like I say, you know, a lot of these creatures are going to be Durinial, aren't they, on this planet? Let's just, let's face it. Let's have a look. Yeah, Durinial. Ground and rare. Always active, though. So, some of these are always active. Underground, common underground. Okay, I don't think a tall creature is going to be underground. So, there's one other creature, but it's rare, to this planet, that could be skulking around. It might only, even though it says Durinial, I mean always active that's a lie I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's a few creatures that are slightly broken that only turn up in the day even though they say always active especially the rare ones or at least the spawn rate goes up hold on i think i could be uh, in for a treat here okay are you scannable you are i don't think that's quite done it though so, oh that's close though that's close we nearly got him we nearly got a tall creature there. All right, well, I don't think we're going to find it now. But that one was six metres and one, I think. Okay. All right, fine. Well, we'll head on over to the ship. I mean, we should be able to find that creature, I would have imagined. But let's have a look. Is there a cactus planet inside of this system? A solarium. There's one. No, that's not cactus. No, it's not cactus flesh. It's not cactus flesh. Not cactus flesh. So let's go to the catalogue page and let's see if we can find a cat. See if we can find one. Where is it? Discoveries. It's catalog and guide. Okay, here we go. Materials and items. Let's go into plants and let's hit up cactus flesh. Let's go to the nearest cactus flesh world and let's see if it if it's got like one of those weird quotas. Because that's what I found so far anyway. So I'm just gonna jump to the galactic map, people. I'll see you over at that cactus planet. Okay, so we've arrived at Cated. Now, rather than put the boots on the ground here, what I'm thinking is if I call in my freighter, pow, fly on in and use that scanner that I just installed, hopefully it's going to let me know if that planet is one of those planets or not. And technically, now I know that it's like a cactus flesh world, technically I could use my freighter to just jump to yellow star systems and just check out all the cactusy worlds and see if we can up my quota slightly and get closer to hitting that um, fresh hold. Okay, so let's head on over. Let's uh, hit this up and see if it works. Chikapow! Okay, where is that cactus flesh world? Oh, it's got aggressive sentinels as well. Come on, fingers crossed. Yeah. Didn't do anything, did it? Done it! Okay, right up. I don't think I've got to put boots on the actual planet. Right, so let's just jump to another yellow system. Let's jump to that one. That one's got water. 
I mean, technically, I could go and put my feet on the ground anyway. If it's got water on the planet, we can do the Nautilus mission, can't we? I don't want to spend too much time in trying to understand what I'm doing incorrectly with this one. Because I don't know whether I'm doing something incorrectly or not. You know, it's a bit of an oddity. Oh, we've arrived. Let's go scan again. Is there any cactus worlds here? Solarium? Starbob? Nope. Okay. Alright. Hold on. Cactus flesh supporting planet detected. Use L3. There's not a cactus planet in this system. I just scanned. There's definitely not one here. Nope. Okay, let's uh, let's try the galactic map again. But this time, let's go into the old catalog log, abandon search, then go back into the catalog. It might pinpoint the last planet we was on, though. We will try it, though. We will try it. And let's see if it finds me another one. I'm hoping it does. No, it's pointing me back to where I just come from. So let's jump a bit further. Let's just jump over there. Wow. Okay, we've arrived. Now I'm thinking if there was one with activated, activated sort of products on there, one with storms, it might work. So that's not one. That's not one. Uh, that's not one. That's not one either. Okay, now let's try that from the uh, discoveries page or catalog page. Go into here, go into plants, select the um, cactus flesh, and now let's go back down. And I'm going to visit this next cactus world. I'm actually going to go down there in my ship. And uh, hopefully it's going to have water and we'll do the Nautilus mission on the cactus world. Okay, brilliant. Now we've arrived. Let's go and use this. Let's see how this gets on with scanning the verse. Boom. Okay. You okay? Okay. That's um star bramble, fungal mold, star bramble, copper. So it's this one, and that one hasn't got any water on it anyway. I don't think it's worked. Okay. Well, we're gonna fly down to a planet that's got water in this system, and we're just gonna do the Nautilus mission. Fun times. Okay. Finding that cactus world is gonna be a git. I know it. Okay. Let's go do this then. I mean, maybe I should just jump to lots of red systems or something because I've got more chance of having activated. And hopefully it's going to be an activated cactus planet that I'm thinking. We'll just go fly down here and go to this one. And I'm just going to abandon that search at the moment. We'll come back to that. That's That, that one's really threw me for a loop. Okay, so we're landing on this planet. I mean, this this planet might have ourselves some very tall sort of fauna on it. It looks like it should have. I mean, it's got tall trees. Now, when they said that there'd be patterns on planets, you know, depending on the sun distance and all that sort of stuff, this is the sort of thing I meant. If you saw, like, big tall trees, you'd expect to see big tall sort of fauna. But it doesn't seem to be the case. And that's why it doesn't overly feel too believable. It's like we've been looking for creatures right now that have supposedly got hot blood. And we've checked all the hot planets because that's where it said the creatures were. I actually found the, pla the creature with the, the hot blood on a cold planet. So, yeah, go figure. All right, okay, here we go. Let's uh, go into here then anyway. And let's put down the Nautilus Bay. And that's what's made this, this mission, this whole expedition, really sort of difficult. Because the actual write-up text, the actual help blurb, has been at no help. Okay, let's uh, head on over here. Let's hit this one up. And that's going to be reflected in my in my review of this, I think, people. It's, it's got to be, hasn't it, you know? How far away is that? 28 minutes. Okay, well, we're, we're going to be definitely flying there, then. Hello, you. Okay, he's a big guy. He's a very big guy. I mean, if he stood up on his hind legs, he'd be the right sort of height. Boom. Just scan all these creatures, might as well. Something hit me earlier, I don't know what hit me. Okay, no other tall creatures there by the looks of things. Anyway, we're going to be flying over to this underwater relic and hope you get in the underwater treasure. Awesome. Yeah, we need something like a giant strider, you know, the tall-legged type ones or something. That'd be cool. 
Oh, this is a bit of a distance. Hopefully there's an island right next to it. 27 seconds. I'll let you know once I've landed, people. Okay, peeps. I'm jumping out. I'm going to swim on over to that Locassian. Let's do this. I has, I've got my 800 meter swimming certificate in real life. I know I've got skills, right? Let's have a head on over here then. Don't really need the Norton for swimming underneath water. And I haven't really installed any modules either. It is what it is, people. Who lives in the pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Look at those things. Freaking awesome. Right, well, I don't need the oxygen right now. So we'll just carry on swimming. Swim, swim, swim. I mean, I could call in the Nautilus. You know, I've got it. Sod it. Might as well, mind I? Extra craft. Is it facing the right way? There we go. Let's go swim into there. Then at least we don't have to worry about oxygen. Yeah, sod it. Might as well. Go. Oh, great. We've not got no bloody fuel. What do I need to... Ah, oh, fudge that then. Okay, I, I don't even... I don't think I've got the recipe for the fuel. <laughs> there, screw that. Okay. Fun times. Okay, well, we, we're heading towards the relic site. Hopefully it's still locked in. There it is over there. Well, at least it gave me back my oxygen just jumping in and out of the dang thing. But we're going to run out on the old hazard protection if I'm not lucky. Not hazard protection, life support. We've got five of these. I might as well use one. Cool. Now let's go swim on down and we should get given a key. Once we get given a key, we should be able to get the treasure. And hopefully when we get the treasure, then everything will be fine and dandy and the world will be good and I can pop the badge and get the hell out of here. Because, yeah, I'm not really into underwater exploration. I would be perhaps if they added in some bigger, awesome fauna in the water. Okay, here we go. Let's hit this up then. Hello. I want your key. This, out of all of this stuff, I really don't understand the law on this one. The, the, the law there just feels so outside of the No Man's Sky remit. I have no idea what it's about or why it's there. There we go. We've got to give it a trident key. There's a tragedy chest. Let's go and dig that up. Come on then. Hopefully this is going to be what I need to do for the old thing. Oh, great. I need living pearl. I completely forgot about living pearls. Okay, there we go. Put that there. Right, I've got to find a clam. Clam, 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 clam. There's one there. 200 U's that way. Is there any closer than 200 U's? 257, 261, 258. Story of my freaking life! 293. Dang it, we'll just go with this one then. Okay, let's do this. Oh, fun times. I'm about to run out of oxygen and die, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, let's call in the old Nautilus. Let's go swim into there and get my oxygen back quickly. Yeah, I, uh, I know, I know. Oxygen and all that. Boom. There we go. Let's just wait for the oxygen to go back up. And then we'll swim over to that location, people. I'll tell you what, I'll see you when I get to the clam. Okay. The clams live in an underwater cave. Of course they do. For fun's sake. This is going to be fun getting back out of here. Right, let's just give us a little tickle. Open up! Open up, freaking clam! Okay, well, that one's stuck. I'm gonna bloody run out of oxygen! Okay. Open up, clam! Oh, for fudge's sake. It'd help if I used the right freaking tool, wouldn't it? There we go. Grab that. Okay, let's get the fudge out of dodge. Okay, let's get back down to my beacon. Let me out of the hole. There's my beacon over there. Sweet! Is there any oxygen plants on the way back there? Probably isn't. Probably going to have to swim back into my Nautilus and wait for my oxygen levels to go back up again, aren't I? Yes, there's no oxygen plants around here. No. Fudge hell. All right. Okay, how far away is my little... I think, I think I'm near to it anyway. Don't need to resummon it. All right, we'll go sit in there for a little while then. Call the own. Right, let's jump on out. Let's swim on down. As you can probably tell, people, maybe I should have had a break in between these couple of phases. Because at the moment, I would say this isn't fun for me at the moment, people. Oh, God, I've already done that. Let's uh, swim on down here. Let's go and interact with the chest. Lovely. Boom. Come on. Freaking interact. There you go. Chica done. Give me the treasure. Sweet. Thank you, yes. Underwater treasure. Yes, it did work on the first one. I was worried I might have to do all of the lore before it actually popped the expedition reward. We've had that before. 
Right, okay, so into there. That's that one done. So I've done phase four now. i kind of done these in the wrong order. Not that it overly matters. Would have been nice to have got phase three done though, wouldn't it? There we go. We've got the radi ragged tent plans. What the fudge are those? Constructs... What? Okay, I have no idea what those were. That I just won. I'm waiting for them to pop up in the top corner. And I should be looking where my ship is. Let's swim that way. Okay. Oh, they're, they're little bits of robot for your base. How cool is that? Awesome. I might go and put those at one of my bases. In fact, we've got to go back to my base to pick the plants, haven't we? So I might go do that. You know what? I'll see you back at my base. So I'm going to fly up to the station, use the teleporter, go back to my base where the plants are. We put down those little constructy parts. And that's, that's pretty much... And I'll see what else is left to do. Well, I'm back at my base. Let's go and collect these plants and pop that badge at the very least. Oh, for fudge's sake. Yeah. That just happened. <laughs> it was behind me. Thank you, fudge. Yes, a mine assessment. Lovely. Okay, let's try that again. If it gets in my ship, that's going to really tick me off. <laughs> Okay, come on. Oh, for fudge's sake. I knew it was going to do that! I knew it! Get out of the way! Okay, here we go. Let's grab that one. It was in there a collect all button on these harvesters. I'm sure that they did put in a button for that. Okay, no, that was on the biodomes, wasn't it? Be nice if you could put a button in. You know, like you can put in switches. Be nice if you put in a button for harvest all. Okay, here we go. Last tray. There we go. We've done the bounty. So that's a phase three reward. Let's go grab that then. Phase three. Chicka power. Done. Now I am only missing that one. And that one for the tall creature. Hooves of Thunder. And then we're done. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to continue my search for both of those things. And I'll reconvene if I find either of them, people. Okay, chums. I saw Scottish Rod did a video on this one. And he points out that the actual planet with the tall herbivore is inside of the Rendezvous 2 system. This system is on this planet here, FCAD. So we're heading down to planet FCAD. It's a swampy, weird planet. And hopefully we're going to come across a creature that's over seven meters high. So let's head on down to here. Looks like someone's got a landing pad here in a little base. Let's just do a little bit of searching from this lovely little base that I just found. Heck goes. Oh, this is a storm crystal planet as well. I might have actually set boots on the ground on this planet. I'm not too sure. May have done. Who knows? Anyway, let's go creature spotting. It should be a tall crab. Now, Scottish of the Rods, I do like naming crab creatures after him, actually. There you go, there it is. Kaboom, we got him. There we go, Hooves of Thunder, dundily and done. Thank you, Scottish of the Rods. Heck yes, people. If I remember, I put a link to his channel at the top, but Scottish Rod, No Man's Sky, you should find this video. Heck yes. Awesome, so let's go into the old expedition, and let's pop that reward. Okay, Dream Aerial, inventory is full. I don't really need a Dream Aerial. What the fudge has happened to my exosuit? Okay, we don't need that. We can get rid of that. And I probably don't need all of these either, these Gravitino balls anymore. Okay, all right. Well, let's get back to my ship before I bloody die. I just noticed there's an extreme storm planet, isn't it? Run like the freaking wind. Yeah, it's not the sort of, you know, the gentle breezy kind, but freaking like a tornado. Righto, we're in. Sweet. Okay, people, and um, yeah, we're back inside of my ship. Let's do this then, expedition, and pop that badge. Chica pow! So there's only one badge left to get, and that badge is the elusive one in phase three that made all my videos go out of sync. The gitty one. Let's claim that too. Heck yes, we've got a load of decals and all sorts of lovely, lovely stuff. 
Brilliant. Okay, and that one is in phase three. This is the last badge I've got to get. The unwelcomed discover a world with hostility quantient 84%. Okay, so if I go into my discoveries, let me go into the wonder catalog. Let's go into your wonders catalog for a second, people. How do I get to wonders? Here you go, wonders over here. And it's under the planet, and it's is that one hostility quanta 80.01. Hold on. Okay. That one is above what we're after, isn't it? Okay, that's a bit of an oddity. All right, so where can I find that? Planet Nart. And it's in this system here. Okay, well, we'll set a waypoint there then. Planet, yeah, Yagabud. Okay, well, let's, let's take to the sky then. Discover a planet with 84%. And what was that one? 80%. Was it? Let me just, um, just go and have a look. 81%. Okay, and what sort of planet is that? It is a cactus flesh world. So I think we just need to find another cactus flesh world, people. Right. I think we're on to it. I think we're on to it. Let's jump over here to this red system. Let's hope there's a cactus flesh world in this system, people. It's got more extreme weather is what I'm thinking. Okay, we've arrived located. Let's see if we can find a cactus world in this system. Fungal mold. Let's just check the actual galactic map. Let's go to here. Star bramble, solarium, fungal, cadmium, red lost. Very cool. That had phosphorus on it, so not cactus flesh. Let's try another red system. I think I'm going to have luck with red. And if I come across a cactus weld inside of a red system, could be on for a winner. Well, it looks like the dream area just called in a leviathan. Okay, well, hopefully we're going to talk about the le leviathan. There you go. Boom. How about its treads? Lovely. Dream together. Okay, what well, is this is happening? Look. Sweet. Megafauna. Megafauna ecosystems, please. I always thought this might be an in-game survey that Hello Games can get information from. And then think about, ah, oh, so that's what they want to see. So I always choose the megafauna. Heck yes. Conserve power. Uh, hurry up, just get through this now, and hopefully I'm going to get awarded with a lovely Leviathan frigate. Not that we overly need it, people, but there we are. It is what it is. Oh, my dad. It's a lot to go through on this one. Sweet. There we go. Add to fleet. Thank you very much. Sweet. Okay, call you. Now I was heading towards a planet right now, people. We're trying to scan a planet. Um, there's a planet hiding behind a planet that I, I don't know what it is. And I've lost sight of it now because of that interaction. Is this going to be a cactus flesh planet? No! After all of that, it's not. Okay, I continue my search. Okay, we've found the cactus flesh planet, but it hasn't got activated anything on there. So I don't think it's got storms, so it's not going to have the extreme either sides. So I don't think this is going to pop it. I'd be surprised if it does. Moment of truth, people. Let's jump on out the ship and let's see if it pops. Come on. Hmm. Oh, largest planet. That, God, that got me. I thought we had done it then, people. Nah. Dang it! Okay, is there any other planets in this system that could be cactusy? Maybe that one over there, the unknown moon of the ringed planet? But I doubt it, people. We will reconvene soon. Look at the screen. Over there, look at that. It's got activated cadmium. It's a cactus flesh weld. I think this one is a contender, people. Oh, come on. Okay, if this isn't a contender, I'd be bloody surprised. My ship is on freaking fire. Okay, let's um, let's jump on out and let's see if this does the trick, people. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. Holy fudge, this planet's insane. 
Okay. Hottest temperature. Hottest temperature. Okay. And it's probably going to have the coldest night temperature, hopefully. What the? How's that not done it? Okay. Um, let's get in the ship. How's that not? Oh, my days. Okay. Um, I thought that would have done it. Easy peasy. That one just said hottest temperature. And it hasn't actually appeared there. Maybe because it's a moon, not a planet. Their planetary records. Do moons count? I don't know. I don't freaking know. Okay. Well, I guess that's not done it. And I'm, I'm really gutted that it didn't, to be honest, people. You know what? I think the freighter idea that I had before is not a bad one. Let's just call in the freighter again. And I'm going to have a look, see what I can do. Okay, Jums. Well, I've managed to get all of the engines installed. I just need a load of hypercore crystal -y stuff. And I need some quantum computers and solar mirrors and other sorts of shenanigans to get this underway. So if I make some quantum computers, make one of them, make one of them. Lovely jubbly. I'm nearly there, people. And then I went and got rid of all my freaking hyper crystals. So I haven't got none of the hyper fuel. Well, chums, I need to get the blueprint for the hypercore crystal so I can take my freighter into any system. So let's head on over here and let's see if I can purchase a Kate. That warp thingy. So, oh, there's the fuel for the freaking Nautilus that I needed. Okay, so that's it there. I've already unlocked all these Atlas passes. That's a bit, a bit shite that I have to go and unlock them again. But anyway. There we go, we've got it. So we need antimatter and storm crystal. So we know of a storm crystal world. It was just on there when we got that tallest creature. Yes, so if we head on back to Rendezvous 2, jump on over to Planet F Art, whatever it was, I should be able to pick up some storm crystals. I'll see you there. Okay, chums, I was just flying to that planet when Scottish of the Rods put on up a video and it says most hostile planet, the unwelcomed, and it's got a portal dress and everything, people. So yeah, yeah there we go. And yeah, so portal code there. But it's in rendezvous four. So I'm just jumping over now to see if I can get this to pop. Let's see if this works. I don't know what's going on with the video. But yeah, awesome. Let's go and have a look, see if this actually works, people. Okay, so I've arrived, located, discovered by Hello Games. My ship has crammed me into that room there. Okay. Take one off, flying up into the sky, boom. And it's a yellow and bluey sort of colored planet in this system, people. Lovely. Yellow and bluey planet. Let's have a look, see. That one, I think. That's the one we want to go to. And it's a star bulb planet. Oh, for fudge's sake, I've been going to cactus welds all this bloody time. It's, it's really not clear in what you have to do. Okay, right, so there we go, there's that one. It's not that one. Bum, 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 bum. It's that one there. Let's fly to that. Oh, it's freaking locked onto the station. Okay, well, I'm flying to the station and I take it, people. Righto, I'll see you when I land on the planet. Okay, people. Yeah, so that was fun, wasn't it? So I don't really know what classes this planet is being hostile. I mean, it doesn't look very hostile to me. I mean, look at it. It looks freaking like earth okay earth is pretty hostile i mean let's face it i mean i wouldn't want to go to freaking chicago right now or detroit or something you know then again england's just as bad these days right oh well i've arrived Kated, and that did freaking nothing did nothing for me okay okay that's very odd rainy planet cactus flesh planet Maybe it's that one then, my on. Okay, that's pretty odd. Okay, people, that was just the planet the Scottish Rod has got his portal on, and I couldn't find his portal base there because it's covered in comms balls, it's covered in bases. So that wasn't fun. So I'm going to be heading over to a portal that I know of, um, the portal that was at the previous rendezvous. Um, yeah, so I put a base across the lake from it. Hopefully I'm going to be able to spot it and jump back through that portal and get myself over to that portal code that Rod has shared. So let's head on over and let's give it a go, people. 
Okay, so this is the portal at Rendezvous 3. Hopefully you've still got a way of getting your way back to this one. Thank you. I think a lot of people have probably built bases in near vicinity. There you go. Hopefully it's already activated. Hopefully. Activate portal. Here we go. Let's put in the code that Rod shared. Now he got this from somebody else as well. And I didn't quite catch the name. So here we go. Double budget regard. Followed by one of those. And a dragony fly. Next four is a triforce. A fisherman fish fish. Another one of those. Wait, pointy things. And a reflexion. Boom. Last four. Whigwam or TP. An eclipse, a dragony fly, and an eclipse. Chicka boom! Okay, right. Now, hopefully, when we arrive at the other side, this is Eisentam, by the way, people. The whole freaking expedition takes place in Eisentam. Hopefully, when we jump through the opposite side of this portal, we'll be end up on a swamp planet of all planets. So, yeah. I would have never have been able to find this planet. I mean, technically, if I would have got those five sort of storm crystals, made the hyperfuel where I can take my freighter, I could have jumped to pro loads and loads of systems, scanned all the planets at once, and hopefully found my own planet. But, you know, this is just a lot quicker. And I just want to get this expedition done now. This is the most painful expedition I think they've ever released. So I'm going to be doing a review on this one. But this one is not for the faint-hearted not for the faint-hearted at all even following guides it's it's not there you go there's the unwelcomed there we go done dilly and done and i don't know what makes this planet a horrible planet you know it's let's have a quick look on the your discoveries let's have a look at this planet there hot blooded milestone and two others okay so it's got other things on here too apparently but magnetized ferrite paraffinium activated copper what the actual fudge? What is this blinking planet when it's at home? It's a misty planet. It's one of those weird, redacted, strange planets. I flew past one of them. I should have put boots on the ground. Okay, but it would have been nice if they threw a freaking bone and let us know exactly what we're looking for or what sort of thing to keep an eye out for. Sadly not. Okay, well, that's actually done it. So there we go. Let's pop that badge. Chicka boom. Sweet. Okay, we can go back in again then. Let's claim that too. Nice. Construction salvage companion customization. Okay. Nice. Expedition rewards. I think we've now done it. We can get the last badge. Done, diddly, and done. Expedition is over. Accept to Kate. Thank you. Done. We're done, people. We're freaking done. Okay. For you guys, I'm going to set off some freaking fireworks now. We're going to have a little mini celebration. Okay, where are the fireworks, people? Let's go into here. There we are. Firework time. How many fireworks did they actually give me? Give me loads. Okay, there we go. Lovely, jubbly. Completicated. And yes, this is thanks to Scottish Rod again. So it was two milestones that they'd done with the aid of other videos, people. Would like to have said that I could have done all of them myself, but I probably could, given time, but, you know, it was just easier just to use up those. Anyhow, people, that's pretty much that expedition done and over. I need to jump in my ship, out of my ship, make a save. There we go. We're done, people, inside the view of us. Let's just make sure we have claimed everything. Claimed, 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 and claimed. We're done. How long did that actually take me? Let's just go back in. Oh, dang it. Have I lost the expedition tab now? It was up on screen anyway for a short period of time there. There we go. It took me... Well, I jumped all those... This... Let's have a look at the title screen. Let's have a look at my save screen for this. Okay, let's go to uh, quit to mode select. Yep. It's there. Five hours, 45 minutes. Who oh my days? There you go, people. Salute to Mondo. And um, I hope this helped you out. I definitely need a cup of tea. It's uh, quarter to midnight here in the UK. Um, yeah, take care, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.